friends, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the art channel. I apologize I haven't posted in a moment, but I had to get a new computer and with that install my software for the video editing again. And unfortunately, it kept crashing and apparently this is a known issue for that software tool. So new software tool to edit my videos and there was a little bit of a learning curve. So we're back in business now. Things should be on a regular schedule. This evening's piece is a fun, poppy little number. I just wanted some bright colors and some joy. I hope you enjoy this journey. Hi guys, as you can see, sorry, I just moving you forward. We have got some rainbow colors planned on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm just gonna spread this white out with a palette here. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna start with putting a little bit of yellow right there, and that is a primary yellow, and it is very bright. But I'm gonna hit it with the Naples yellow in the center. And I'm gonna keep these very controlled. You can actually see the color going underneath there. Then I'm gonna hit the Vermilion. Keep his bubble kind of small right now. I'm gonna hit the green with the, no, we're gonna go red, that's right. So we're gonna go red, keep his a little smaller right now. Then we're gonna go purple. That's a dioxazine of purple. Then we're gonna go with the blue. And then we're gonna go with the green. Okay. Now, that's a phthalo green. I'm gonna hit this with the other green on top of him. So you can see that's a real green green. Same thing with the blue. I'm gonna hit that now with a metallic on top of it. Where's my other purple? This has also got a little bit of shine in it. Are you clogged? You might have been. Um, the red, I've got a Rose Mater sparkly color here. The orange I'm gonna hit with that cadmium. One of them is this short fat guy, and one of them is this guy. We're gonna start with this guy. These are all cake batter tools. And first, before we do this, we are gonna incorporate the white in here. And so I'm gonna use a skewer stick to do that. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda of go like that. Now because I'm taking white into there, I do need to wipe my stick in between every single one. And I'm gonna go the other direction here. Now these will not be symmetrical and it's not intended. So little happy amoebas is what we've got going on here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take the opposite color and have that interact in the other color. So I'm gonna put the blue right there. I'm gonna put the purple right here. I'm gonna take the red, put that in the purple. I'm gonna take the orange, and that's gonna be the vermilion, into the red. I'm gonna take that Naples yellow into this orange. We're gonna take the green over here to the yellow. Oop, he didn't get exactly a circle. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flick these and kind of make them play. So right here, we're gonna just flick. I am gonna wipe in between. And this little red one's gonna go from the orange out. Woo, he went far. And the purple's gonna go, ooh, he got some twisty. Purple got twisty. And this guy is gonna go twisty. Nice. 
up, 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 up. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of colors in there now. twist out just little pops of joy basically well joy for me at least This one, he just wants to be crazy, doesn't he? And we're going to just take him out. Same thing with this guy right here. We're just going to, because they're very solid, those guys. And the red got really fluffy. We lost a little bit of the orange there. So we're going to put a tiny bit of the orange right in there again. Um, in terms of the yellow, did we not have the yellow in the center? We did, but I'm going to put a dot back here. So we need to fluff that a little bit more on the yellow side here. All right. So the red one got widest, which is super funny to me. And I'm going to bring this green up. And I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to shift these a little bit to occupy some space. So we're going to actually shift them a little tiny bit that direction. Then we're going to shift them back. Yep, now we're going to shift them a little more this direction. Okay, we can see where we've got a weight of a body of a paint right there. And I kind of just want to uh, pop this little yellow right here. He's going to slide off, and I know that. But I kind of want him just like representing over here. So we'll bring the white through him like we did originally in the other ones. And we'll go this direction. Then we'll flick him a couple times. He'll close back in. Should be fine. Just looking a little bit here. So some reason this one just is... Um, not reading properly to for me. Um, I also feel like the blue needs to be a little bit bigger. Cadmium orange just keeps going away from that red, doesn't it? We're going to just uh, give it some body here. Should close back in, but... Okay. Now the yellow over there seems to be being eaten up by that white. Just take that yellow a little bit more. There we 
go. That's that's some yellow movement. Same thing over here. And I definitely saw the difference there when we take them a little more expressive. Um, and I need that green and that yellow. And then we'll do the bring the white through him. Okay, so if we can get this guy to not be so king crabby, that's what I keep seeing here is a crab with that purple. That's what needs to happen here is that the block of color is too solid so we're gonna kind of help that purple celebrate itself in these other colors and get that yellow a little bit more room here to function in the orange yep 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 all right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin this a little bit to give it some more movement. Just making sure it's center on the spinner here. Yeah, okay. Now I do know I have areas that don't have paint and that's okay. Before I put any in there, I wanna get this slid out a little bit more. Okay, oh no, I'm losing my yellow. He's going crazy. So I'm gonna just pop that right there. And I am gonna pop the orange right here. And the purple, you're going in the green. And then the red needs to get the blue. And the yellow needs to go, no, it's not yellow. We're gonna pop that red. All right, so once again, we can see here I've got a, a spot there that needs to be. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so I am going to torch one more time because I think we're going to get some colors coming up here. little piece so there's my perspective let's take a look at it dried and here's our bright poppy piece just full of color and a little bit of joy um, I realized the red one kind of looks like a little bit of a crab doesn't he crawling away <laughs> on the side amoebas color splashes I don't know what you want to call it but it certainly just makes my heart smile I hope it makes your smile too Sometimes all you need in your life is just a wee bit of color, and this certainly does that for me. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Find your bliss.